I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm having a bad hair day. 15th. Uh, ooh, wow, wow, wow. What the hell? <laughs> My neighbor is <laughs> yawning <laughs> in a very noisy way. <laughs> Neighbors, come on. The trolls are back. Come on. Oh my god, every single time when I'm filming. Excuse me, the exterior, uh, I'm having a bad hair day. It's April 10 and yesterday I had a rough day writing. I just wrote maybe a couple of paragraphs before some job stuff hit me with the more workload. So yeah, I managed just to write a few paragraphs and that's it. Uh, so today is Saturday, I have more free time. Uh, we just did some nice lunch. I made this uh, Lithuanian traditional uh, cold pink soup, as people call it. Uh, yeah, it's some really nice spring and summer stuff. Yeah, so now I have more time for writing and I'm gonna go work on the next chapter. Uh, I'm trying to figure out some characters some new characters they are very minor but uh, they have a role uh, in this chapter and i need to come up with some names and i'm struggling this time uh, all my cast has names and they fit so well but when it comes to these small characters who just come in and disappear uh, come in for a few moments for a chapter or two and disappear I'm kind of struggling and they also are a family member of another uh, I would say antagonist uh, and yeah they have to kind of match with the antagonist and the other names so I don't know what to do <laughs> do you ever have these kind of problems with names because sometimes I do even though I use random name generators all the time, but this time somehow it's more difficult. Maybe it's because it's uh, close to the end of the story, so <laughs> strange. Won't you look at that? That is way more than I was planning today. It's April 11th. Yesterday I had an amazing writing session. I wrote more than 2000 words. So today I can relax and enjoy the sunshine. The weather is very nice. And I'm gonna go walk my dog and, you know, play a little bit and tidy up uh, the yard and stuff. So. Yeah, spring is here and we're gonna enjoy the day and I don't have to stress too much about the word count. So let me know how it's going for you. Dory! Ah! <laughs> 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 
I did a stationary haul recently and I want to show you my crazy box of stuff uh, I was actually looking for happy planners for a while and apparently they are not available in my country so I found a, a Spanish shop that sells them and I ordered one uh, a 12 month planner uh, yeah, the shop is called Craftelier, and I actually really like this. They are very nice. Uh, why I was looking for it uh, is because I I'm thinking of experimenting with uh, plotting my book, my next uh, writing project. Uh, which will be after NaNoWriMo finishes. And I was looking at uh, Heart Breathing's YouTube page, Sarah Cannon, and she has a Happy Planner uh, kind of way of planning her books. So I thought I'll, I will try. And I actually printed out some of her stuff that she uses for plotting a book. So yeah, um. That's why I bought this. And I actually really like this theme, these stars and planets and stuff. And it's all nice. And it's also changing color here. Yeah. I also used the opportunity and ordered some uh, stickers. Beautiful stuff. I already used some in my bullet journal. The only thing I don't like is that the the cut the cutout is kind of weird. They they cut out not not at the uh, not on the corners, but they cut out in the middle here. So if there is a design with some letters, they cut out cut off some letters, but it's okay. And this another one here. Oh, press pause. I like this one as well. Uh, it has some. Nice stuff for, you know, uh, digital detox and unplug and stuff like that. And my stationery. I already used these Doodlers gel pens. Used them in my bullet journal. A huge stack of colorful, you know, uh, sticky, note, sticky notes. Uh, I needed this one as well, a puncher, because... Of course, I did not order the the puncher for my happy planner. And it has these mushroom kind of pages. But what I did, I looked it up. You can actually draw this and 
just you know punch it out and cut out with the scissors so it works well and i'm gonna do that yeah so a small puncher uh some how do you call these clips i don't know yeah they're very tiny uh i needed brush markers for a while and i finally found some somehow it's also quite difficult to find some uh some paper tags i think that was in another haul but i just placed them here and i love these paper clips this rose gold shaped in a letter envelope yeah nice stuff and they're pretty big you see pretty big also since i i'm planning of doing the hard breathings kind of way of planning a book uh, i needed these dot markers and these are also not so easy to find in my country so even though i was thinking of ordering some online in you know amazon or or something but i managed to find some in a store called uh, charlotte so i just ordered some yeah because sarah cannon she's using her a lot of you know color coding and i'm gonna try and copy that yeah so that's and yeah got some colorful paper sadly it's way too you know flimsy it's way too thin and i'm gonna look for a little thicker paper also for col color coding using uh, these cards for notes so yeah and that's all <music>
back and forth jumping. Of course, I don't do a lot of those, but I try to, you know, when I get an idea that I need to expand something, I uh, usually try to go back instantly and just right there. Uh, because after a while you just lose those ideas and yeah, I, sometimes it's a better thing just to do everything at once. Uh, I'm a plotter, I would say, but I don't plot everything and especially details like how things are looking and, you know, what the characters are wearing and how they are talking, uh, how the dialogue starts. Most of the time that is very, you know, uh, spontaneous. So these notes help me uh, steer the story in the way that I want to, but also leave some space for exploration, for character or world building exploration, uh, for stuff to be discovered. So I'm trying to juggle between being the plotter and being a, you know, a discovery writer because Muse strikes me sometimes and I have these amazing two, three thousand word account uh, sprints in a day and sometimes I just have to push through with just 200 words and that's it. So yeah, so I try to juggle between those two and I have at least uh, some kind of road uh, where, where the story uh, goes. Also, another tip, when you get stuck with your character or plot or, you know, just some scene, uh, it's always a good idea to ask question why. Uh, for example, if you're stuck with a character who's, you know, doing something and you don't know why, so you have to explain yourself what is the intention. Uh, you have to find the motivation behind it. And this way you discover emotion in the scene uh, you discover how your character is feeling and it affects the way they're talking. So that is one of the exercises I try to do when I get a little stuck. Uh, and it helps me, helps me to move forward and remind myself about some things about my characters or uh, the situation that is happening and why it is happening. It's always a good idea to know why things are in your story. <laughs> Also, asking question why, uh, in a way, helps you to develop a plot uh, because, you know, you can start with something, something simple. Uh, let's say you have a character who is looking forward to, um, I don't know, join a competition of baking. And then you ask question why. Why do they want to do that? Maybe uh, they had a, you know, a nice memory of their grandmother who used to make these awesome cakes and they want to honor her and they'll go there. And then you again ask question, why? Uh, why is this memory is so important? And then you go on like a snowball until you cannot an answer these questions anymore. And this way you, you know, discover your character and the plot and the scenes. Yeah, so it's a nice way to uh, move from a uh, writer's block and get some inspiration. They wanted to see in the top two answers for remarkably close, so I decided I'm gonna just do both. This one, as the title suggests, is my time tracking or time blocking experience. It's April 13th, and today I haven't written a word. Uh, and I don't know, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather all day, and I had a headache, and it's not going away. Uh, I took some medicine maybe uh, half an hour ago and it still haven't kicked in. So I don't know if I'm gonna work uh, on writing today, but I thought I will update you on how it's going in general. So I have 8,373 words in total. Um, I had two very big days writing uh, last week. I made it over 2,000 words 
this Saturday. Uh, so I had two or three days ahead uh, for a, you know easier time. Today I have to reach 8,671, so it's around 300 words. So I will see. Uh, maybe I will try to write something if the headache goes away because uh, sitting all day looking at the screen for work and then after work you want to, you know, enjoy your time and write and do stuff and again look at the screen. It's not good. I'll try to relax. Maybe read a book. I'm actually very much behind my uh, Goodreads challenge. I'm five books behind. So I should start working on that too. That probably would be a good idea, a good change for my eyes and maybe my headache would also go away. So my headache went away and medicine worked and I managed to write 923 words. Uh, that's actually amazing. And I'm really close to the manuscript target. I think it's two little words and I would say the story will be around 70,000 words but for now I will keep it as it is. Hello! What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Seems I have some new neighbors. So much work. <laughs> I want to go back to writing. Chicken broth. Getting ready to make some ramen. seem to be very interested in my work <laughs> they keep coming back I never fed them so I have no idea who is doing that but there's a lot of birds around and these two there's another one still here these two seem to come back here maybe they want to make their nest somewhere nearby Wow, such a red sunset. Oh my god, so beautiful. Guys, I completely forgot to properly end this video. So I hope you like this vlog. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your NaNoWriMo journey so far. Let me know in the comments down below how it's going for you guys. It's already third week and it's totally okay if you're struggling. Uh, I have rough days too. Uh, one day I write a lot, and the second two I just look through what I wrote and maybe just add a few paragraphs. It's fine. It's your goal. It's your way of writing. It's, it's your methods. So don't worry. Uh, there's still some time, and I hope you're doing well. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week in another vlog, as usual, on Thursday.